put the, took this congreel out the uh, pot. If you look there, you see there's his eye. And around here, he doesn't have an eye. It's actually skinned over. I wonder if he was born like that. The one-eyed conger. Anyway, I'm going to put him back. I did consider keeping him for bait, but looks like poor chap's had a hard enough life. He's only one eye, so I'm going to let him go. As long as he doesn't bite me or hit me or something like that. Oh, what a perfect dive into the water, and off he goes, it's like a rocket. As you can see, it's a lovely, calm morning. No wind at all. So we're going to go out for the high, well, high tide, it's on its way down now, but it's pretty much high now, because we got fish to catch. Today, shot out real quick because today I've got orders and I need 75, a minimum of 75 mackerel. Can we do it? Well, if it had been two days ago, I would have said yes. Now I don't know because yesterday this area the fish seemed to vanish, particularly the mackerel. We are going to go to another spot, hopefully that will be the place to go. Um, but yesterday afternoon, it, or not afternoon, but late morning, it died off, everything went very quiet. I also need a few bass if I can get them. A few customers who've asked for some, so we'll see how we get on with that. But at the moment, like I say, everything's getting quiet. So that will change. The only trouble doing this at the moment, there's a lot of crab pots been laid where we fish. You don't see them, but the lure finds them. It can be expensive on lures. more like a pollock to be honest. Oh. Watch I don't throw my rod over the side. I mean it's still in the holder. I think this is probably a pollock actually. Although it was a bit deep for a pollock, so maybe it's just swimming towards us. Stay down, that's normally a sign of a pollock, but it is a pollock. It's a fair decent pollock. It's not hooked very well. Because it is a big one. On me. That's a cracking pollock. The one fish I don't need today, apart from myself. Because like I say, I'll keep pollock myself quite often. What a lovely fish that is. Look at the size of that one. Beauty, eh? I think I'll take that one for myself. 
We have a pullet tomorrow. Being there's going to be some wind anyway, probably be going to be at home, so I've got some fish. Very quiet out here. Let me try the um, just as well test for mackerel here as well because you know you don't want to move somewhere where there isn't any or move away from somewhere there might be loads of them. Doesn't feel very fishy this morning here, so even though we've caught one. <laughs> mackerel here, that's a good thing then, it gets us going. Feels more like pollock. Right, we're gonna keep moving. Trouble with pollock, they like to dive. If they dive into the bottom, then we lose all our gear. What I think that one just did. I've done it again. This is going in. Come on, get something on it. Yep, another pollock. Good size pollock. Give them that. Now I put my waterproofs on, 
simply because mackerel spray blood and scales and all sorts and you actually stink later. If you put waterproofs on, you do pots off, it just washes it off. But obviously, if it just goes on your trousers, then I've got to pop in somewhere on the way home, so I don't want to smell too bad. <laughs> This one's actually snared himself. He's got the hook, but he's gone through the, the loop of the lure. Oh, there's a lot of fish on just now. Get the main back of the probably. Is they're not as big as I'd like them, but we can't have everything sometimes. Let that one go. Yeah, we're drifting at a weird drift, to be honest. I'm going to go a bit deeper because it might be the small ones hanging in the corner. I mean, it's not bad, but like I said, I'd like to get as bigger if I can. big ones so when we get to the last half dozen we need that's when we'll start catching loads you know Right, I need to do the count, see if we've got what we need. It should be very clear to you. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Five, six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight. So we've got some slightly more than we would normally have in that bucket because we've got some smaller, a little bit smaller ones. I have found it very hit and miss out here, to be honest. And there is a knot in my line. on it. Well, it's a lot of And it's a legal one, so on top of the rock. Hold it. 
face of the Baby Central. <laughs> that baby is climbing that foot. I can use that. The conga head that'll last for days. Big enough, I think. Which is this one, which again is a big one. Yep, well over. This one um, might be if it's got a long shell. But I think it's under. Yeah, that's under. That's definitely under. where I put those so next time I'm gonna get lobster maybe even a shanker look at the size of some of these they're huge and that'll keep everybody happy such a great looking fish such great patterns they have on them Turned out nice though, it stayed nice, should I say, which is unusual. Normally it's um, pretty awful. And we've got a bit of lobster. And as you can see, we've got some nice pollock as well. These are big, these pollock. They've got to be, they're probably around the six pound mark, five, six pound fish, maybe even a bit more. 